What's poppin' and welcome back to another video. It's now been around three weeks or four weeks maybe since we first released the beta test and we've gotten some really good feedback that we're gonna be going over in this video. So we're gonna be taking a look at all the Google Forms, all the App Connect, all the other messages that I've gotten, see what people think we need to improve in terms of the app, what we need to change, and then we're gonna plan all of those changes, put them into Jira, and make a whole sprint for the further call that we need to do. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. Okay, so we've got pretty much of a logistical nightmare here. We've got three different screens. We've got the whole feedback we have on the computer and also our Jira ticket. We've got the phone and we've got the, uh, we got the camera. So we're just going to see if we can coordinate all of this later on. My editing skills aren't the best, but we will, we will get there. So starting off, there were uh, two different ways to submit feedback. One, either through the App Store Connect or through the form which I sent out in the app. So let's take an example. So on the whole test flight, which is the software used to test the app on Apple, or it's an Apple software used to test the app. I had 14 email testers, only two of those actually, three of those actually tested the app, so a bit of a disappointing turn up, but oh well, what can you do? Then we had public link, and here we had 29 different testers. A few of them had no sessions at all, a few of them had like one session, which means they tried the app once. A few have opened the app a couple of times, like nine times, for example, which is quite the uh, 11 times so a few people tested the app quite a lot a few people didn't test it very much but that's okay so if we look over in our firebase which is basically where you can see all of the analytics we can see that we have had quite a few uh, users over time so yeah up of 33 users which was quite quite a lot and the positive thing is that we didn't have a single crash so 33 different separate people have used the app on their devices on ipads iphones etc we've had no single crash, which is very, very positive. Uh, looking at where they come from, this was also a bit interesting. So, six people came from Sweden, which is kind of given, this is like my friends. Also, not so much my family, because they didn't really test the app, God damn it. US, eight people, this is probably the, from the YouTube video, so people who used the link from the YouTube video. And then China, I don't understand how these people found the app. Like, China, they don't even have YouTube, so I'm not sure how they would have found the link to the public beta test. And I know I tested, I know I sent it to one person who lives in China, but, uh, uh, other than that, no one. So it's uh, it's interesting. Then looking at the devices, we had some uh, quite some variation actually. iPhones, some iPads, some newer ones, some older ones, which was really really cool to see. Someone with an iPad Pro as well. So pretty cool. Someone with an iPhone 7, just an iPhone. I have no clue what an iPhone is. But oh well, quite a few people. So without further ado, let's get into the actual feedback though. Let's close the Firebase. Let's head over to the form first. So looking at this, we first had some just general. Uh, questions. So how would you rate the usability? And I thought this was quite positive. For a beta version that I've built myself in my closet, obviously this is not statistically significant in any way since we've had five answers. But anyway, most people thought the app was somewhat usable, you know, it wasn't perfect for sure, which it wasn't meant to be. But uh, people gave it quite a big, uh, quite a good review, I was happy with that. And these first ones were really for improvements, it's just to understand, like, can I release this in its current state? Then looking at the UI design, some variation. You know, no per person chose the same uh, choice, but uh, yeah, I think we have definitely some work to do on the UI. A lot of it doesn't seem to be a hindrance right now, so we shouldn't prioritize it before launch, but we can definitely improve it later on. So then we have the actual feedback. So what was the most frustrating part of the app? So onboarding or like something which is some kind of like instruction. So uh, we're gonna add that as a to do. Add instruct instructions slash onboarding we're gonna make that a to do for our improvements round two uh, they're not able to swipe left and right to navigate between menu options let's see what they mean ah okay so i think they mean that on the menu down below you're not able to swipe you gotta click okay we can check that as a to do i think that's a good idea we should and by the way if someone has one suggestion i don't think it's good we shouldn't necessarily do it just because one person said so but i thought about this earlier and i think this is quite a good one so make uh, since a lot of the the cool newer apps have this make menu swipeable good stuff good feedback okay okay and then someone who left like quite a Quite a big task, but I think you can rework the whole UI when the app is fully functional. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna re rework the whole UI to begin with, but 
oh well. Uh, good feedback nevertheless. And then, my little man could not read the categories, he said he wished there were pictures so he could look at all the animal stories by clicking on animals. Okay, maybe we can add like emojis or something like that. Uh, make, or maybe we have like, uh, yeah, make emojis for the, potentially. Maybe this looks really stupid, but we can try it and see what it's like. What else did we have? Uh, when you're changing the timing with the slider, it's laggy. Okay, yeah, we kind of knew this before. I thought it was quite fixed, but apparently not. The, so I guess what they mean here is that when I go to Racing Chickens, for example, and I press this story, and it's loaded, and then I press play. Racing Chickens. If I then Guys, swipe... I don't know what they were using. It's laggy when it's playing, and I can't swipe it when it's not playing. So we need to rework the whole slider. And I kind of realized this as well. Then the same person actually told me, uh, they didn't write it in the survey, but they told me that, uh, and I noticed this too, but like, it's interesting to see, because sometimes you know stuff that's not right, but you don't, like, users don't really notice it, but now quite a few people notice that the, um, the buttons are quite laggy when you are on this play page. So if I press 10 seconds back, for example, the play won't change until I actually press play. So we need to take the, the audio views laggy slash don't work we need to fix that so good feedback there uh, then how would you rate the content that you listen to i mean one person rated it one thanks and then we have yeah some people thought it was very good again a lot of different uh, answers there then did you encounter any bugs if yes when slash where was the next question so someone said when i tried to sign up i couldn't listen to the content and this is quite in weird I'm not sure who this would be. I, I'm gonna take this as that they couldn't sign up, but I don't really have any indication that they wouldn't be able to since everyone else was able to. All the other, uh, what was it, 33 people could sign up, so I don't think this is an issue. When you try to favorite the song while listening, press any other button, the favorite think it's gone. Uh, yeah, this is the same as we had here. The audio views buttons laggy are laggy and they don't really work. And then no! And then it was another one when you add stories to favorite, uh, they don't appear in home page until the screen is reworked. So this is quite interesting. So if I have this one, with the free run or we, let's take a story we don't have as a favorite. Let's take Roger takes a bath as an example. If I now press play on this one, I'm like, I like this one. In a nice house, I favorite it. So then now I need to reopen the close the saga. Now it appears on the favorite because I need to rebuild the whole thing. So maybe when you press favorite, you should rebuild the whole app straight away. Okay, good feedback. Then we have some other feedback. So did all the features work as you expected? Yes and no. Uh, would you use the app again? Yes and no. Yeah, you can see what the, what the answers are like, quite interesting. Uh, so then, do you have any improvement suggestions? Yes, adding onboarding. Yeah, that was uh, we wrote that down. Good stuff. Or like some instruction or onboarding, something like that. Uh, longer stories and have an audio play even when outside the app navigating the menus. Yes, this is a big thing. Make audio globally playable. I'm not sure if we're going to do this for the first one or for the first release. This is quite difficult to do and it requires quite a big rebuild of the app, but uh, good enough. Uh, maybe add pictures to the categories you wanted to call. Yeah, we had this feedback already. And then someone who uh, suggested adding longer stories, like more 10 plus minutes. So that one will make a mental note of that one that we want longer stories in the future. But right now we can't really afford too many longer stories. So we're, we're gonna leave it at the five to 10 that we are right now. And then we have quite a few which are 20 minutes long, but we're gonna limit that for now. So what would you pay for a product like this? Three people answered $5 a month. Someone answered three. Someone more is not in the market for kids story fair enough. Okay good stuff So this was all the feedback from the forum which we had so then we're gonna move on to App Store Connect And here we had two pieces of feedback I believe from two people you can see here feedback and again no crashes We're so happy about that. So let's look at the screenshots mm -hmm. Let's see what we have here mm -hmm. Just download the app. I'm enjoying the layout to feel the app so far on the account page The logout button is too far down Okay, log out button too far down, or like change how you log out. Yeah, that was their only feedback, interesting. Okay, and here you can see their 
who they are. So they're in New York, iPhone 11, no clue who this is. Pretty cool that they chose to test it. Then we have another one. The main page is always downloading. If I close another menu item and coming back, it's really slow. Or, but maybe this person didn't have internet at this particular moment in time. So we should probably add something which is like checking if the person has internet. And if they don't, we should display this app can't work without the internet. So check for internet and show like a, for example, uh, on Spotify you'll see a, you're offline, so you can't really see any, play any of the songs. So maybe, maybe we should have something similar to that. So, although I don't really, this wasn't a problem for anyone else, I think this is something to do maybe with the device or internet, and I tried to replicate this, I couldn't. But I think this is good for us to show that if you're, ha if you're uh, not connected to the internet or you can't reach the internet, we should not be uh, displaying. I'm gonna head over to Snapchat because one of my friends provided feedback on there. He's the one who provided really good feedback the last time again, and he did the same time again, so really good stuff. Thank you, my guy. Uh, he had the same, okay, so his feedback, first of all, was one, the favorite button lags a little bit, and we already addressed that, so we'll be fixing that. And then he also addressed that uh, when you go forward or backward or pause and play, it doesn't really work. And then he just had some, uh, he had some uh, feedback on specific stories that he thought were weird in terms of audio. So. I'm gonna do the uh, double check audio and then all of the content for all of the stories. Then I had another friend who actually called me to give his feedback, which was really helpful. He had such a good idea. So his idea was that since parents will be the primary market for this app, but kids will be the users, we should have two different interfaces. We should have one for parents where they can add sagas that they think the kids are gonna listen to, and then we should have one for kids where they can easily pick which ones out of the ones that their parents have selected that they're gonna listen to. So, uh, I'm not sure if we're gonna do this for the first release or for the second one, I'm gonna put this in here as well, and then we're gonna maybe put it on hold later on, depending on where we are in terms of time. But we're gonna go, uh, we're gonna say different UI for parents, slash kids and yeah I think that is it so make a payment subscription module this is gonna be the uh, like the this is gonna be the biggest one here and then we just have some other smaller pieces of feedback not too much actually and this is really good because the beta feedback was really good again not super much input but still the input that we got was very helpful very uh, doable I think and it was really a lot less than I would have expected when I thought back at this like in August when I started I would have an app which people thought was usable at this moment in time which is so good to hear so now we're gonna go through this once quickly and just prioritize them so this is gonna be the highest priority uh, since the payment one is gonna be essential for it improve the app icon we'll leave that at medium instructions onboarding I will put that a high something where you can like get about the app or how to use the app or something like that. Menus swipeable, we're gonna put this as low. Uh, emojis for the categories, I'm gonna leave that a medium. We probably need something like that, that was good feedback. Uh, rework the entire, this This is also gonna be high. I think we're gonna make the subscription one highest. Yeah, we did, okay, sweet. Uh, emojis for categories, medium. Uh, the slider on the play page, high. Uh, audio views buttons, we're gonna make that high as well. The favorite is pressed, it needs to rebuild the home page. We're gonna put this as low. Uh, audio globally playable, we're gonna put this as highest. Because this is, no, we're gonna put this as medium. And then maybe not for the first release, but we're gonna do it sometime, maybe not right now though. Uh, change logout button, we're gonna leave, put this as low. Check for internet connection, I think this is quite important because some people will think the app is not usable unless we have this. Uh, double check audio con yeah we're gonna put this as high as well and then different UI for again this is such a good idea but I don't think we're gonna pr prioritize to begin with if we have time in like end of April then we'll do it but uh, for now we'll leave that there so okay let's head over to our roadmap and then improvements round two that's gonna start today and I'm thinking we're gonna have until the end of April to finish all of that so we're gonna set that as the deadline now okay we have all this stuff here to do in in the app and we're gonna be working on this throughout April so this was the main beta test feedback Re again really good feedback yeah I don't have much to much else to say so we've got some stuff to start working on we're gonna be pumping out a couple of more coding videos as we work through all of these things 
Maybe I come up with more things throughout the time, maybe I get more feedback from people who haven't had time to submit it yet. But this is where we're at right now. It's gonna be an exciting next couple of videos where we start to work on this advanced stuff like the payments page, for example, that's gonna take ages because I've already looked into it and I know it's gonna be difficult. But with that said, I'm excited for the future holds. I'm really proud of what we've done so far and how the app has come along. And I'm so happy that a lot of people like it and I'm so happy that I got a lot of good feedback. So thank you to everyone who's sincerely thank you to everyone who's beta tested the app. I really appreciate the time and the effort you put into it and it's helped me so much. If you like these videos and you want to continue watching, you want to see where we end up and what the process is like where we end up with the whole app, then please leave a like down below, subscribe and hit the notifications bell so that you're notified when these videos come up and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.